What's going on there, YouTube? Keith here again. Welcome to my channel. I know it's not really about outdoor sports or scuba diving, but I want you guys to meet Miss Scarlet. She is a red blood python. Um, just got her today. Um, Want something a little bit different than the regular ball python, uh, red tail boa, you know, the everyday thing. Want something a little bit different. <clears throat> uh, these guys here, never even really heard of them until just recently. Uh, a friend of mine brought them up because my wife got a ball python not too long ago, and we've been on snakes in the past and wanted to get some going again. So. I ordered her Wednesday. She came in this afternoon. Today's Friday. From Backwater Reptiles. Yep, Backwater Reptiles. That's what she came in. But they actually had her like in a little netted bag type deal. Um, I guess it depends on the snake. Um, she's actually a nippy one. Um, they do say that about these guys. They will bite. Um, but I'm thinking it's more, you know, she just traveled from, I don't know if she came from, I got two different addresses, Florida and California. I'm in Missouri, so. But she's starting to get a little bit better. Um, Every time I go to get her out of the cage, she'll get a hold of me. Um, she's drew blood on both my hands, which isn't a big deal. We're still trying to figure each other out, I guess you could say. Um, she's actually pretty mellow right now, which is really surprising. Um, haven't tried feeding her yet. Probably do that in a couple weeks. Um, she'll get at full maturity, they say about six foot and around 20 something pounds, I believe it is. I'm no pro with these guys. I've owned snakes before. They say these snakes are for more experienced handlers. I figured to move it up a step instead of the regular Burmese or reticulate, you know. But, um, I mean, the coloring on these guys is just gorgeous. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to see her markings. Come here. But,. She's got some real pretty markings. Um, from what I've read on these guys, they're, they like being alone. Um, they like to hide themselves. Um, she hasn't really been hiding herself. Um, she's actually been in the middle of her cage, just doing her own thing. Um, just chilling out, checking it out, um, but she's definitely active, she's definitely feisty, um, but yeah, figure we're going to call her Miss Scarlet, because I'm hoping she gets that really dark crimson red, um, I just think it's a real pretty color, real pretty snake, <clears throat> yeah, she's sitting here just watching everywhere. <laughs> Everything I do, she's watching. Um, but yeah, she's, she's been doing good. Um, just trying to get her over this initial stress, let her know I'm not going to hurt her. Um, and that's what they say, you know, if they bite you, you know, don't jump, don't, you know. I just let her bite me and I'll just keep a hold of her till she decides to let go. Just the. And it's just to let them know that, you know, hey, you know, if I bite this person, he's not going to react to it. Um, I'd rather do it now than when she gets full grown. Because I feel when she gets full grown, it might hurt just a tad bit. Especially when you got 20-something pounds worth of snake coming at you. Um... But like I said, I've only had her, well, half a day. 
Um, but she's she's not doing too bad for a hatchling. And like I said, I've never ordered a snake offline. Um, big shout out to the Blackwater Reptiles. Thank you very much. Um, she is gorgeous. Um, if you can see her in person, you can actually tell the markings really well. Um, yeah, I mean, just all in all, just a real pretty snake. She, she's not so much mellow just yet. I don't know why she's all of a sudden all over the place, but that's fine. But, uh, that they say these snakes aren't for beginners, which being as snippy as she's been, I can see why, because it would actually probably intimidate a lot of people. Um, but other than that, guys, I mean, you know, and I've watched a lot of the guys on YouTube that have these snakes, and they are gorgeous. Um, so, it's my first time owning one of these. I'm going to do updates on her and probably my wife's ball python. I say every one or two weeks, just depends on my time and life in general I guess you could say but uh yeah I mean you want a pretty snake guys you know these guys here are way to go I wanted to get a rainbow boa but personally I don't think I'd be able to maintain the temperature and humidity requirements uh, I'm not that good yet I mean I love snakes Spiders? No, his, he, keep your spiders to yourself. I I won't mess with those guys. These guys? I, I'll deal with these guys all day long. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're thinking about one of these guys, be prepared to be uh, bit a few times, especially if you get one a hatchling like this one, because they they've got a little bit of an attitude to them, and you gotta just be ready for it. And it's not so much that it hurts, um, it's more of a surprise, and they are very quick to smack you because, uh, shoot, earlier I was, it was my fault, I was messing with her tail while she was in the cage, and she, I mean, out of nowhere, just turned around and got me. So now I'm just kind of letting her do her thing, she's get, actually getting a little bit you get a little bit antsy but uh yeah guys um there again i've never ordered a snake offline this is actually the first one and she arrived today healthy and feisty as anything but anyway guys there she is say hello to miss scarlet let's see if i get her to look at the camera there you go But I'm going to put her up, guys and girls. Um, hell, hit that like button. Subscribe. You know, there's going to be more videos like this. Now we get back to the outdoors stuff eventually once life slows down a little bit for me. Um, got some dives scheduled. Um, but anyhow, let me get her back in her cage. Uh, get things going around the house and you guys all be safe have a good one